Hello, here's a quick video to show you how to send your subscribers um, your latest blog posts with MailChimp RSS campaign. So here's a blog here and here's the latest blog post and people can uh, subscribe to the blog by entering their email address here. And we did this through MailChimp. Um, in order to do this, in order to get your subscribers to receive the latest, the latest blog posts through their email, um, you need to create an RSS driven campaign. And that's just, you can just get there from the MailChimp dashboard as soon as you log into your account. And you need to create RSS driven campaign. And straight away you're asked for the feed URL. You need to go to your blog and I think just going feed will do it. And that may go to uh, your feed burner feed if you have the feed burner feedsmith plugin installed in WordPress. So you can put that in there. Uh, you can actually send your subscribers only certain categories uh, or a combination of categories but um, here we're just doing the whole of the feed and you can specify a time of the day when um, the email is set, sent out. You can then specify which list you want it to be sent to. Uh, you can call it, call it a name that's just for your own benefit. And here you can have the message subject, and this is the title of the email. Here you've got to um, get to grips with MailChimp's short merge tags. And you can see the default is they're using a couple of merge tags here. That's the RSS feed title, so that'll be the title of your RSS feed. And uh, the date. Actually, I don't use that. You can just say latest and news from the blog. You can make it any subject you want, obviously. You can actually use this merge field, which is the first name. So if the subscriber put their first name in there, that will say latest news from the blog, Rob, or something like that. So then you put your from name, your from email address and, then, and they can reply to the email and, and it will come to that address. Here you can um, add some Google Analytics and information. And of course you have all the templates from FeedBurner. Let's select the most basic one and see if we can style it up. So here's my email template, and you can see I've used some merge tags here. For example, I've sent, used the first name again in the, merge, in the heading of the email. This is the actual email the subscribers receive. And also I've put two more merge tags here, one for the title, that's the title of the blog post, and the other one for the content, the content of the blog post. And then I've just written some text in there. Um, if you want to edit these, you just click anywhere on there and it pops up and you edit it like that. You can set the uh, styles of, of the merge tags or even of the text um, using this very obvious and simple text editor. An important thing to read is the RSS to email tutorial at MailChimp. They go into in quite some detail. Uh, they suggest you use this default tag, which is RSS post HTML default tag. I find when you use that, that only gives you the excerpt of the post. It doesn't give you the full post. And that's why I don't use that one. I use the title and content full. You can also put in the date of the post. You can also put in the post author. And there's quite a few merge tags that you can use. So I was just reading the tutorial about that. That is basically it. Um, there, you can specify the plain text 
um, message. You can also use the pop-up preview and this will uh, check your HTML email. Here it is, it's an email of the latest post from, from your blog. If you click that you'll see that um, the merge tag goes to the first name there. But if everything is how you want it, you just click Start RSS Campaign, and that's it.